Hi everyone, so the holiday's here and I know everyone is shopping, they're trying to find the perfect gift for the perfect person. So I decided to make your job a little easier by compiling a list of what I think were the best products of 2015. I was not paid or sponsored to recommend anything at all. There's gonna be a list of all of the topics and genres that we have right here, and you can click on each one. It'll take you straight to that spot where you can learn about each product recommendation in that category. Okay, let's get started. If you're on a drugstore budget, but you're looking for quality lipsticks, have you guys checked out Wet n Wild? Their lipstick range is pretty impressive. The color payoff is beautiful. It's $2, I mean, come on, that's super affordable. That's cheaper than a Starbucks coffee. You can get a pretty decent lipstick for $2. They're pretty timeless, a lot of great nudes and dark colors and rich reds. So if you're looking for a really great lipstick line that you can experiment with, Wet n Wild is um, definitely on the recommended list. Just because you're on a drugstore budget does not mean you can't find a really good concealer. So LA Girl, they make probably one of the best pro concealers on the market in drugstores. And they come in a wide variety of different colors from different flesh tone colors to even more pro colors like purple, green, different color bases that can help enhance the undertone. But you can also get a little creative and make it a little more multifunctional by using it as contour. I think this is like three bucks each, three, four dollars. Taxes, I don't know, roughly like five. Good concealer at a great price point, LA Girl. ColourPop is winning with their Super Shock Shadow. It's not like your traditional eyeshadow where it's powder-based. This is a different type of formulation. So if you do have a ColourPop product, a, a Super Shock Shadow, you have to make sure to really close it in tight, uh, seal it in, because if you leave it open, it's gonna dry out really fast and the magicalness is gonna disappear. You apply it with your fingers instead. You load it up with your fingers and you pat it on and uh, it just, it's a great way to build your eyeshadow without dealing with fallouts, um, without dealing with like overblending. So if you're trying to find a really great eyeshadow palette or product for your loved one, or maybe you're looking for some yourself, uh, don't pass up on ColourPop. Check out their site and see if there's any sales that are happening because they do, they are very generous with their sales. So if you're looking for MAC quality, MAC slash makeup forever quality, but at a lower price point, you should, Definitely check out Makeup Geek. It's very, very affordable. It's um, beautiful colors. Blendability is just incredible. Very rich and creamy. And um, when you swatch everything, you can just see the quality of the swatches. It's really great. And she sells them uh, individually, so you get them like this, but you can also get a Z palette, throw it up on here and build your own kit. She also has um, these beautiful duochrome pigments that are a little more expensive. They're roughly $6 each, but wow, they're really intense. It's beautiful. Her duochrome is just exceptional. Great pigments at an amazing price. Makeup Geek. NYX Whipped Fuete. Hope I said that right. Fuete. They make this great product that is a multi-purpose pigment slash stain that you can add on your lips, on your cheeks, and it has great blendability. It's pretty intense at first when you lay it down, but as you blend, it finishes off with this very diffused, soft, second skin look. This is just a great product to just toss into your bag and no fuss, no muss, really easy and also really inexpensive to use too. Sorry, I tried juggling, but it's kind of hard to do it while you're trying to pay attention to the camera. So my holy grail blender is obviously the Beauty Blender. I love it, I use it for everything. I use the mini one, the big one, but I know that it can be a little pricey. This is $20. So Real Techniques, they launched their own version of a sponge. This one is a teardrop shape on one side, but if you flip it, it's a flat end. So it's great for like under eye or if you wanna get like around your neck area or in the crevices, but then you can flip it on the teardrop side to get into all the nook and crannies. This, however, is $6. This is $20. I think Milani is Italian. It sounds Italian. Ah, I knew it. See? Italians are known for making some of the most refined, most beautiful color pigments. Don't judge by this because this has been dropped a few times, so obviously it broke just a bit, but I wanted to show you how it looks. So it's a baked dome-shaped blush. You just need a little. A little goes a long way. Tap it with your, your brush tap off the excess and just dust it over your cheeks. 
and you have like a nice glow. Ah, holy grail for a few bucks. <laughs> when it comes to foundation, I know most people prefer a true matte foundation finish because it just looks better when you photograph with it. If you're looking for a really good product, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. So this is what it looks like, and I actually think it's a cheaper version of the Armani Face Fabric Foundation because the texture is pretty similar. You can see right away, I, I, I used a lot, sorry, but you can see how it has more of a matte finish. If it's a little too matte for you, you can actually water it down with an illuminator or highlighter and you can just break it down a bit, apply it on your face for a semi-matte, dewy finish. Morphe brushes, they win this year. They have so many brushes you can choose from, all shapes, all sizes, and most importantly, they are well made. Quality is exceptional. It feels really good on the skin. You can get synthetic brushes, you can get um, real animal hair if you want. And there's also different levels of brushes. So there's like the beginner's brushes and then the pro brush line. They're um, also made here in the US, Burbank. So support your local economy, yay! So if you're a huge brush junkie, Morphe brushes are amazing! Anastasia makes some of the best eyebrow products out there. So one of their products that took the world by storm is their Dip Brow Pomade. It comes in a really nice glass jar like this and you need an angled brush or a liner brush and you just use just a little. It has like a pomade cream texture but once you apply it on your brows you can really feather it out and build a beautiful new brow shape. If you're looking for a really good liquid lipstick that's not drying, that has non-basic colors, look no further than Jeffree Star. He definitely makes more like statement colors, but if you wanna get colors that are more neutral, everyday colors, he has them too. So look no further than Jeffree Star. And also, I'm a huge supporter of the beauty community. I like supporting the small people, the people who are just starting their business. The more you support these people, the more jobs they can offer for others. I know this is gonna sound really biased, but I wouldn't say this if I didn't believe it. It's the M Cosmetics Waterproof Mascara it is the bomb. It's so good and it really does work. I have Asian lashes, so my lashes grow straight down and they're super thin. So I need something that's more waterproof based because it has more wax in it so it can help hold the curl. The magic of M's waterproof mascara was actually not just in the formulation but the brush too. So we made sure that we had to pair a really good brush head with a great formulation because if you have a really good formula but a bad brush, it's not gonna do well. If you're looking for a really good waterproof mascara and it is gonna run out soon because I'm not going to reformulate this again. I'm basically starting the entire makeup line from the ground up. So you get it while it's gonna last because I have at least, well I don't have any on, on me right now, I should get some before I run out. I'm gonna have to agree that Scribble, the liquid liner that I made, is still the best liquid liner that I've used. It took two years to formulate this, and the reason why it took so long was because I wanted to find the best brush maker that can make a very specific type of brush tip that can help the user create the thinnest lines and the thickest line in one sweep. My favorite color has to be Tattoo Black and Black Coffee just because when it dries, it's a true matte color, so it looks great in photos. I recommend checking out mcosmetics.com before they're all gone because I'm not gonna reformulate this either. MAC historically has been known for making some of the most coveted lip liners. One is called Spice. This color, even I knew about this color name when I was 12 years old and I was reading these magazines and how it was always sold out, and I think it's still sold out. So when it comes to uh, lip liners, they don't mess around, they don't play. I didn't go too crazy with some of the Lux stuff. Yes, price point does matter, but it's really like how refined the quality is, the ingredients and the packaging, and just it feels luxurious. So the first one that we're gonna start off with is Drouet. Their kitten liner, paraben-free felt tip liquid liner is, it's divine. It's really beautiful. It has a lot of flexibility, so you can build very even lines if you wanted to, and you can go like really thin to thick lines. This is great if you want easy, simple, perfect cat liner. So the finish is more satin than matte, which if you're looking for more of a matte finish, I recommend looking elsewhere, but I kind of like how their finish is because it, it looks 
really luxurious. It has like a really nice, beautiful sheen to it. Jouer, again, you win. You are a great brand because you really know how to make great products. I love their highlighting pack. First off, let's, let's just take a moment and appreciate how much thought they put into their packaging. You can connect them together and you can pull them apart if you need to. Three different highlighters. One is this pearlescent, opalescence shimmer that's great for people with cooler undertones. You have another color that's more like a champagne gold. So anyone with a warmer undertone. And the last is my favorite because it's rose gold. I love rose gold and rose gold looks great on everyone. Neutral tones, um, cool and warm. It's a beautiful romantic color. And if you also want to do true strobing, this is a great product. So a great highlighter pack, Jouer. Obviously the most used eyebrow pencil this year that I've personally used myself is by It Cosmetics. This is their universal brow pencil. The color is universal taupe. And I think I've answered this a few times. People always ask me, if you were stuck on an island, what three makeup products would you bring on you? I'd rather have GPS, Superman, and food. But in this case, if makeup was the only thing I needed, I would have a really good taupe. Someone with blonde hair and someone with dark hair like myself can both wear this brow pencil at ease. NARS makes this great creamy concealer. So the Radiant Creamy Concealer, it is what it is. It has a brightening effect and it's creamy. And when it dries, it has a more natural skin texture. So not dewy and not matte. So it's great to use alone or if you want to apply powder on top of it, you can build and you can layer on top. If you want to splurge on a really good concealer, check out NARS, try it out at Sephora or wherever you can try out NARS products and you'll see why it's celebrated. When it comes to powders, I personally think Laura Mercier makes some of the most beautiful powder finishes. The formula is so amazing. I mean, it's really hard to find a loose powder that can compare to Laura Mercier's. I like to apply it with a stippling brush because it's so fine that you don't really need that much. You just tap it off a little, lightly brush it on your face like so dabbing it on. It feels really nice. It's it's almost like powdered silk, which is why I like it so much. So if you're looking for a really good loose powder that you want to splurge on, Laura Mercier has your back. So there's loose powder and then there's powder that you can use as foundation. You can double up as foundation. It Cosmetics made a really great foundation powder called Celebration Foundation. This is what it looks like. You use a brush if you want to lightly dust the product on your face, but you wanna use a sponge if you want to layer it on a bit more and pack it on. The texture is really lightweight. It has a nice, beautiful, true matte finish, and it doesn't feel drying, which is why I like it so much. So A Cosmetics, they make great products and their Celebration Foundation is by far one of the most well-received product in their line. If you're not a huge fan of powder foundation because maybe you have dry skin, like myself, you should actually check out their Celebration Foundation Illumination, which is a subline of this line that has this product in there that actually helps illuminate the skin. So when you buff it on your skin, you start seeing this beautiful glow. So if you're not really into that dry matte look, check out the other one. It actually took me some time to find a really good neutral palette because there's so many right now on the market, but there's no one on the market like Tarte. I do know that Tarte Cosmetics is cruelty free. Like they really do pay attention to texture and product finishes. So what I love most about this Tartlet palette is that the powder doesn't feel like powder. It really does feel like clay. So if I'm like taking a brush and I'm dusting it, the fallouts are really minimal and it's really fine. Price point is a little high, but I think it's worth it because you're gonna be using this practically every day. I apologize because I am not Korean, so I might butcher this name, but I'm not gonna butcher how amazing this is because this is by far my favorite cushion compact product. It's by this brand called Suhwasu. <laughs> Suhwasu. Suwasu? When you look at it, I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. It, it's kind of like old lady-ish looking, but the reason why it's because this brand is made for an older demographic. Women who have a little more money and they can splurge on quality product. It has such a beautiful coverage. Like you can really build. There's SPF that's built in. You can pat this on and then apply um, a little bit of loose powder and you have a beautiful natural finish. 
So if you are cushion compact crazy and you want to find your holy grail cushion compact, this brand by far is my favorite out of all of the cushion compacts that I've used. Amora Pacifics, Iope's, Hera's. Believe me, I love all those products, but I think this one is by far the best one. If you're having a lot of problems with your pores and it's clogged, instead of using the tried and true method of ripping it off with some tape or um, paper mache, um, you can actually try out this really cool brand called Skin Miso. So this is their Pore Beauty Nose Pack and I found this on Amazon. I bought it on a whim even though everything was in Korean because it had really good reviews. You take this soaked cotton pad and you put it on your nose and you wait 10 minutes and what it does is that it preps your skin and, it's, and there's a chemical in there that pushes all of the blackheads and all that gunk onto the surface. You take it and you scrape all of the whiteheads and blackheads off and it comes right off really easily without having to rip anything off. Um, the second step is uh, this witch hazel extract where you put this on for another 10 minutes and it relieves and smooths your skin. If you're looking for a really good um, face mask, Primer Lab makes my favorite. So there's different ones you can get. This one is for hydrating the skin. This one is for brightening the skin. This one helps with any blemishes. This was recommended by one of the Rice Bunny team members. She swears by this. So it's a two-step process. The first step is wetting your face and applying this on like a moisturizer and really working it into the skin, lathering it in. And the second step is using another dollop, scrubbing it, just getting all of that dirt, all that layer off, and then rinsing it off and your skin is apparently supposed to feel brand spanking new. Another product recommended by one of my Rice Bunny team members is this one called Alpha Hydrox. I've used this myself and it's actually really good. It's a great moisturizer if you're looking for something that's really simple and lightweight, no fuss, you know, it, it just gets the job done. It moisturizes your skin. I like to take it between my fingers and rub it down and then just pat on my skin. And it's only $7 on Amazon, come on guys. Peach and Lily curates some of the top selling products in Korea that you really can't find in any other stores. So they recommended this as a top seller. It's by far my favorite pore refining mask. You just need a little bit. It's pretty substantial too. You need like a small amount and just apply it on, on your nose unless you want to apply it on your entire face. You wait roughly like five, 10 minutes and then rinse it off and your pores, I don't know what's in here. I don't know if it's like, unicorn boogers or something, but it really works and it's amazing. Aveen Sequelfate. Interesting name, but the product itself is simply divine. This brand sent me a bunch of their things. Something told me to open the box and I opened it and I read a few pages on their PR stuff and this brand can actually rebuild your skin's barrier. And I thought that was a little gimmicky, but I tried it out on my hands and the next day my hands were so soft and supple. I hadn't seen it like that in a while because everything has been so dry and dead out here. So if you're looking for a moisturizer that is ultra hydrating, but it doesn't feel heavy, look no further. Great product. Okay, you guys know how much I love this brand. This is by Egyptian Magic. This is their secret magical cream. It's an all-purpose cream that has, I think, like 13 ingredients. Only 13 or 30, wait, how many? Yeah, I think like 13 ingredients. It just looks like a really thick pomade wax. The magic comes when you rub down the product between your hands and it becomes all oily. So you need a little bit of heat. And this works as like a simple pomade. I can break it down and use it as lotion, which is what I'm doing right here. It's a great all-purpose uh, balm. If you're looking for a non-basic way to wash your face, if you tend to have like very sensitive skin and you're looking for a more gentle alternative, you should check out Aromatica. You get a little scooper, that way it's clean and you don't contaminate the product itself. And this is what it looks like. You have to put it on your face and work it into the skin so it starts breaking down the makeup. So if you're wearing like a lot of makeup, theatrical makeup, if you need something that removes everything off your face without stripping your skin of its natural moisture, this brand is incredible. I love it. They have great stuff and this is a great cleanser too. Tatcha makes perhaps the best skin mist I've ever used. So their dewy skin mist is great to use if you want to refresh your skin 
You can also use it as a primer to prep your skin first, and once you apply makeup on top of it, your skin really does look luminous. It doesn't spray like your normal skin, skin sprays or skin fixture. It's really, really thin. But before you use it, you have to shake it first and then spray. So you hold it roughly around 10 inches, 12 inches away from your face. Close your eyes. Okay, speaking of Tatcha, I love Tatcha, and I also love their cleansing oil. I think by far they make one of the best cleansing oils. It's so lightweight, it's not like a heavy oil that feels oily and slippery. It's a very beautiful, silky formulation. It really does clean everything off your face, and it leaves your skin feeling really supple and hydrated. Skin Ink makes this really unique product that gently removes dullness and dead skin off your face without having to scrub any microbeads or exfoliants. It uses a chemical exfoliation that is pretty gentle. It doesn't sting your skin. It doesn't feel irritating at all. And once you're rubbing it in, it really does collect all the dead skin all over your face, wherever you have this product. And once you rinse it off, your skin feels like a baby's butt. It's amazing. First time I used the Tatcha sunscreen, I knew right away this is going to be my official new sunscreen. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen, it feels like silk. It smells so nice. It doesn't smell like a sunscreen, it doesn't feel sticky. When you apply it on your skin, it's amazing. And I feel like my skin actually looks better after I apply the sunscreen on. So it kind of works like a primer at the same time. So I recommend it for any of you sunscreen junkies or for anyone that you're buying it for. We're gonna start with sinful colors because when you're normally buying something that's mass, um, a lot of the times you wanna do at least two coats. But what I love about sinful colors is that you can actually layer the colors. So it's great if you wanna do like a nail cocktail, you wanna like throw on a blue but then put a red on top of it to turn it purple. So it's great if you wanna be all painterly about it. And it's affordable. I've seen this on practically every nail guru on YouTube and on Instagram. They swear by this. Um, some people call it Seishbeet or Seishbeet. I'm the worst when it comes to pronouncing anything. But I can tell you that it is a great fast drying top coat. Within a few seconds, it's dry. Just make sure when you close it, like you close it all the way, don't leave it a little open because it will dry really fast and it's gonna be really hard to open it. So that's the only downside to this product, even though I think it's amazing overall. Not everyone has money to get gel nails or maybe they can't get the at-home kit. However, you can still get something close to a gel-like formula without the UV light and this is actually made by Sally Hansen. No lamp, no light required. You just paint this on like normal nail polish and you add your top coat and voila, you have gel-like nails. I don't think it's exactly like traditional gel nails, but it's, it's pretty close and it, it does last longer than normal nail polishes. Trust Fun Beauty makes great nail polishes. They're vegan, they're cruelty-free, a great indie brand, and their names are hilarious. Like one is called Beverly Thrills, another is like Rich Bitch. Another tried and true luxury nail polish brand that I go crazy over is Deborah Lippman. The packaging itself is art. Beautiful, it looks substantial, it feels substantial. And uh, most importantly, uh, the paint formula is beautiful. She has like great top coat, cuticle oil, the whole shebang. Deborah Lippman, you make great nail polishes. Thank you for that, I really appreciate it. When it comes to oils, you wanna try and find really good essential oils. There's great lavender oils out there in the market. Also tea tree oil is a great oil to use if you have any blemishes on your skin or you, your skin in general just feels really fatigued. If you dab a little bit of tea tree oil on it, um, your skin will just instantly wake up. It's a great natural product that you can use that is readily available. And uh, if you invest in really good quality oils, a little goes a long way. Coconut oil has so many uses. This one is by Vita Coco, but there's a lot of other great coconut oils that you can buy. I'm not just recommending this, I'm just recommending organic coconut oil in general. With coconut oil, you can add this to your beauty regimen. You can add like a teaspoon of it in your coffee instead of creamer, it's a healthier option. And there's so many different ways to use coconut oil. If you have a great coconut foundation, you can pretty much do whatever. Besides coconut, Manuka honey is another 
cult favorite of mine. I don't use it just for the taste, I also use it for medicinal purposes. So if I have a sore throat or I feel like I'm about to get a cold, I try my best to avoid any medication and pills and over-the-counter stuff because I really want my body to activate its natural immune system. I take a teaspoon of this raw, I eat it, and within the next day my voice and my body, just everything in general feels better. I feel more vitalized. I'm all about like medicinal things, coconut oil, honey, and of course, Tiger Balm. I mean, if you're Asian, you know what Tiger Balm is. This is the stuff that your mom or dad will slather on your body. It's better than Vicks. It's a great healing balm that I love using whenever I'm sick. You can just use it right under your nose and this will instantly just open up your nostrils and you can breathe better with it. If you're sick, Tiger Balm, Winuka Honey, and instead of just putting cream and sugar in your coffee, you can try putting a little bit of coconut oil. Now we're moving into hair care, fashion, accessories, tech products, apps, TV shows, and beyond.